finesse two times. I'm talking to you right now, boy. I'm talking to you. Didn't I tell you to get away from Junior Neal, huh? Didn't I tell you to get away from Junior? I told you you need to give that necklace back. Take them handcuffs off your wrist. Didn't I tell you that, Mr. Federal, two times? What did I tell you was going to start happening? Didn't I tell you you were going to start canceling your shows? Didn't I? And that's exactly what happened. This is what I don't understand. How did you convince yourself to go do a show in Atlanta right around the corner from where they buried takeoff? I'm trying to figure out who in Atlanta would book you and have you come to Atlanta to do a show right around the corner from where takeoff is resting. Boy, somebody finna set you up. Yeah. Listen to me for next two times. Mr. Put it on their own kids. I'm telling you right now, you better get away from mob ties and you better get away from Junior before it's too late. Yeah. And you actually let Junior tell you he was going to pull up in Atlanta? This boy got the audacity to pull up in Atlanta after what he done been convicted in the streets of doing, allegedly. The streets done already convicted him. And for what I'm hearing from my people up in Houston, he ain't been liked in Houston for a long time now. Yeah, I got a lot of people that I know in Houston, and they calling me now. They saying, Jonathan Stewart, what make you think J. Prince Jr. gonna go to jail? You know what I told him? It ain't nobody in Houston that love him enough that'll go do all that time and let him walk around free out here. Ain't nobody in Houston love you like that, boy. Yeah, I heard it's been quiet in Houston, too. Yeah, they say you been around there being an internet gangster for a long time. They say you the real MC Gusto from CB4. They say you ain't no real gangster. The word on the street is you been out here pretending you been trying to duplicate and emulate your father to the T. And people did not buy into it. It is not believable. Bull fabricated. I can't believe you thought you was going to be able to come to Atlanta and you was going to be able to go down there and wrap your rap songs and tap your feet and beat on your chest. Boy, do you remember what happened in Arkansas? Do you remember what happened in Arkansas that had you so terrified that you say you didn't want to do no more shows? Yeah, you remember in Arkansas? Over 20 people. Yeah. Over 20 people laid down inside the middle of that club on the floor. Yeah, blood seeping out their holes. Bodies riddled with bullets. Do you remember when you said in the interview, the reason why you don't like to do shows no more because of what happened in Arkansas before you got locked up? You think you tough for the next two times? You think you can't be touched? You honestly believe that you was going to get booked for a show? Boy, they was trying to get you down there to do something bad to you. Listen to me. I'm talking to you right now for the next two times. When you went down there to get ready to do that show, they sent all kind of death threats to the police department. They sent all kind of death threats to that club, to the promoter. And they told them, and finesse two, two, two times, come down here and touch that stage. And he touched that carless mic and he get up there and he let his clan necklace, his mob ties necklace, and his bread camp necklace, he get on stage with any of that jewelry on. We're going to leave him stinky and smelly right there in that building. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. 
the next two times? That's your question, son. How bad do you want to live at this point? How important is it for you to wake up and feel your own lungs full of air? Huh? How important is it for you to wake up and breathe and smell and taste God's creation every day? Say, J. Prince Jr., what you trying to do? You trying to get this boy done the same way you did that jeweler boy? The same way you did take off? You mean to actually tell me you trying to get rid of this boy too? Man, what kind of death wish do you got against rappers? I'm thinking you mad because you can rap. Yeah. You actually thought them people in Atlanta was going to let you and Finesse two times come down there to that club and have your way and make all that money and leave the city of Atlanta talking about Junior came down here and did nobody do nothing. See what happened? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see y'all canceled that show. <laughs> I see y'all canceled that show. Mm -hmm. See, this is what you don't understand for next two time. It's going to be hard on you, boy. Yeah. It's going to be so hard on you. You're going to feel something you ain't never felt in your life. I'm talking to you right now for next two times. No, no, I don't want to hear about it. I, I know, I know I don't want to hear about it because I told you, I told you two weeks ago to get away from Junior, but you wanted to stay there. You let these folks book you for a show in Atlanta and Junior got on a private jet to come down there and the place where you was going to perform was right around on the other side of town for where takeoff was buried. And you thought you was going to be safe. I can't believe you. You got some nerve, young man. Let me tell you something. You need to get far, 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 far away from J. Prince Jr. Rap a lot records. J. Prince Sr. Mob Ties. Because if you thought you was going to be able to go down to Atlanta and do that show, and wasn't nobody going to say nothing. Boy, you had another thing coming. You got your you got your first show canceled in Atlanta. Yeah, congratulations. Job well done, young man. <laughs> hey, they make tags for your toe too, boy.